Hello everyone, Elizabeth here, aka Miss Bess, and welcome to Pillow Talk, where I talk about life and stuff. Yay. So, um, I wanted to address something that I saw today. Um, I've noticed that with a lot of the YouTube channels that I watch, they are, I, I'm dealing with people who seem really genuine um, in real life, like, uh, like, uh, specifically, you know, um, Chavez, Slovakia, Dr. J and the Women, Blasphemous HD, um, Markiplier, um, Jacksepticeye, uh, Mr. Bob and Mr. Wade, so, don't, don't, I, look, look, my mama raised me proper. You say mister, you say miss, you say yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir, no sir. It doesn't matter how old you get. That's just called respect and honor, okay? That's just what I do, that's how I do it. If you don't like it, if you get mad, if you feel some kind of way. I ain't changing how I was raised. My mama raised me good. So, yeah. May not always act like it. But she raised me good. So, bruh. I wanted to address something um, that I watched today, which was about Markiplier. Markiplier. Um, I just watched his video about him feeling lost. And that he doesn't want to disappoint his fans. That he doesn't feel that he's done enough or earned a lot of the stuff or the love that he gets, like when people say that he saved their life and this, that, and the other, he, he, I don't know if he can accept that. I don't know if he can accept that, which kind of, uh, you know, it, I, I, I get it. I get it. Um, now I'm going to talk to you from an experiential place, like the things that I'm going to be talking about are the things that I learned in my journey in life in general that helped me to become better. I'm not that much farther up the road from where, from what I'm talking about or what I'm addressing in this video. So don't, I, 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 I'm still in a fight. I'm still, I still, I'm, I'm like, I'm out, but I'm still trying to stay out <clears throat> and get my life cleaned. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, in in lieu of this information, uh, let me start here. Number one, Markiplier has seventeen, almost seventeen million subscribers. I think you earned it. I really think you have. Number two. You need to be real. He needs to be realistic, and this is something that I think everybody struggles with when it comes to uh, themselves and their accomplishments, and when they start to become successful, or when they are successful, especially for a long period of time, and their success continues to grow and just kind of snowball effect. Um, when you start to get successful. But you and your feelings. You cannot realistically see what you've actually done. And if you are doing your best to stay humble, it is not real it is not real humility when you downplay the things that you've actually done in this life. How much you've helped people, how much you've given to people, how many lives and, and positivity that you've changed and touched the hearts of my and minds of people um i feel like everybody needs to step back and take the in the reality of what they've done and what they haven't done or what they can do more of in a realistic healthy manner and if you don't think you can do it ask your friends if you got real friends 
they surely will tell you. And if you ain't got no friends, come talk to me. I'll let you know. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bite my tongue. For what? I will say whatever it takes. If I know if I knew that me telling you the truth that was gonna rip you to shreds but free you and become a better person and like you hate me for a little bit versus me like being nice to you and placating to your feelings and you not change or get better. I'm going to rip you up. Because if I know it's going to help you to grow and it's going to set you free of all those nasty chains that either people put on you or you put on yourself for whatever reason or you accepted that for whatever reason, I'm going to do it. I'm going to rip it up because I want people to be free. You need to grow somewhere. That's part of the journey. And people are placed in your way to help you grow, to get you free of things that you picked up that you weren't meant to carry along the way. So, you know, get it up. Get it right. Bruh. Bruh. <coughs> Number three. Um... I've noticed a pattern with a lot of his blogs because especially when he when he starts feeling this way or when he his blogs are more um, vulnerable and uh, what I have to say to that is this I love the vulnerability nevertheless I also believe that I think he needs I think we all not just him, but I think we all uh, need to learn how to accept and receive the love that we give to everyone else. It's important because we always talk about how we're alone, but every time, but every time people try to bombard us with love to reflect back to us what we've given to them. In kind, and then some even, that we say, no, 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 it's okay, we're not worthy of it, but then we complain about being alone. Now we have made a decision to be by ourselves, not because we were, but because we chose to reject. You don't feel alone when you receive the love from those who are reflecting it back to you. You might feel lonely. But you don't feel alone because that love keeps you going and it makes you feel like you're wanted and it makes you feel like, hey, they're reflecting back to me what I've given to them. And I have to, you, ha I struggle with this. You can tell my fr you if y'all talk to my friends for real, ask them about me taking a compliment. <laughs> like, <clears throat> like for real. Ask them about taking me taking a compliment. Like, you you're you're going to see. Like, if somebody gives me a compliment, this is my face. Thank you. But it took me years to get to this face and saying thank you. Because Somebody checked me on it. They said, stop rejecting my love. Stop rejecting what I want to reflect back to you, which is what you've given me. You've given me nothing but love and support and, and you know, I'm, I'm crying and you give me laughing and I'm, I'm crying because I'm sad, but you're cracking so many jokes that now I got tears from, from laughing so hard. My ribs hurt. I heard something pop. I don't know what's happening. I can hardly breathe. I'm almost snotting out my nose, but I'm laughing. And it's sometimes it's difficult to receive that because you put yourself in this unrealistic mindset of it's never enough. I struggle with this too. It's, it's a sucky thing to always think that everything you do is never enough. And I think a lot of times we do it to ourselves. There are other people who do that. Do not give your power to people who don't, they don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. 
Don't allow people to have that level of power and control over you. You are the you can take it back or you can keep giving away to those people. Cuz it's your life. You have to live with you for the rest of your life. They can like walk away, they could die, whatever. You still have to live with you for the rest of the, your life. Just like they have to live the, with them for the rest of their life. And whatever you do, you need to decide for yourself in your life. So if you need to get better, go get better. If you need to go and do something or go somewhere or live out your dream, whatever the case may be, as long as it's not hurting anybody, as long as it's in a positive way, as long as it's going to affect this world to make it better and not worse, I promise you it's going to be worth it. It's going to be good. And you got to learn, but you got to learn you. And the thing is, you got to learn to love yourself in order to receive love from others. Cause nobody going to love you the way you love yourself. Like for real. <clears throat> and you need to learn to love yourself. If you can accept everybody for ho how they are and just where they're at, you need to do that to yourself as well. Stop putting yourself to a standard that's unrealistic. It doesn't make any sense. I'm still working on this. I am not that much farther up the road from what I'm saying right now. But I can tell you, it's been a lifelong struggle for me. It stinks. It stinks. Stinks. But you still you still have the ability to, and it, you know, one thing about it is it all starts with a decision. Let your yes be yes. And your no be no. But when you make the decision, let it be that. And stick with it. No matter how hard it gets. Find support. Whatever you need to do. And do it. Don't make excuses. Don't make them. But I'm done ranting. I think that's enough for today. You know. <clears throat> love yourself. So you can receive love. So people can show you the right love. The positive love, the love that helps you grow, that that you know that cuts you cuts away the dead things in your life, but but allows other things to grow in your life, or it de like it like de weeds you, and and you know I always consider people's hearts as a garden, people's minds as a garden, or like it it has life there, and there are some things that you try to hold on to that was meant to die years ago. It was supposed to die. It's done. The season is over. Let it go. Let it go. Let go. So <clears throat> and, and and I'm still learning how to do this and I'm still learning how to allow people to help me with this. But you know, I had a major breakthrough yesterday. It was pretty awesome. But I realize I have a lot of crazy energy um, when it comes to the different things that I'm learning how to deal with. And I have to learn to do it in the best way possible, in a positive way that's going to help others, that's going to tell my story in the right way, but also can relate to others so they can get better too. So yeah, I'm sorry I talk a lot, but I'm going to let y'all go because I need to go and barbecue and clean the rest of this house and organize stuff, and go job hunting. Yay! Um, I'm sorry, I'm so slow, so I'm like, blah, 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 blah. But, um, this is Elizabeth, a.k.a. Ms. Biz, signing off from Pillow Talk. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments or anything, comment in the comment section down below. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just being goofy. Because I'm tired. I'm so tired. And I gotta, like, clean my house. The Sabbath is coming. But yeah, I'm also going to do my ribs today. I'm going to barbecue them today. And it's going to be so good. Oh my god, it's going to be delicious. Oh, I get super giddy when it comes to food. <laughs> I love food. Oh, I'm such a fat brain. Okay. I'll be alright. Um.
I made Italian chicken. I'm also gonna make um I'm gonna make a bunch of stuff. I think I'm gonna make I'm gonna I think I'm also gonna show how to make um the uh mushroom spinach risotto. Yeah, watch for that. But if you stayed this long, love you guys. Mwah. Signing off now for real though. You know, it's kinda like being in church. I'm about to close and it's like twenty minutes. I ain't trying to be about that life, so alright, but Deuces.